Curtis Douglas, also known as South, Trini and Douglas of Woodland St. George, died on Thursday, 3rd February 2022 at the age of 57, left to mourn his wife Veronica Douglas, mother Rosie Douglas in Trinidad and Tobago, children Carlin Douglas in Grenada, Antonio Nero Douglas, Jerome Douglas, and Carlton Douglas in Trinidad, siblings Frank, Anthony, Reynold, Hilton, Kurt, Joyce, Emrys, and Cheryl Douglas, all in Trinidad, in-laws Anne, Alston, Gilbert, Michael, Lisa Nero, and Gwendolyn Nero Thomas, grandchild Kalia Jack in Trinidad, 23 nieces and nephews in Trinidad. Close friends, workers of Douglas Cleaning Service and Auto Care Service, Sheldon Thomas, Cyrus Griffith and family, the Sandvex family, the staff of Brenlick, the Andrews family, Ray Roberts and family, Gabriel Rentals, Barry's Engineering Company Limited, the staff of Real Value, Grace Lutheran, I Am Jet Center, and GTM Insurance, and neighbors of Woodlands and surrounding areas. The funeral service and interment of the late Curtis Douglas, also known as South, Trini and Douglas of Woodland St. George, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's funeral home. Adolphus Sylvester, also known as Beck, of Labory, who resided in Tortola, former operations manager of Shell, British Virgin Islands, and past employee of Soul Group BVI. Passed away on Saturday, January 8, 2022, at the age of 74. Left to mourn are his wife Sonia Palmer Sylvester, children Adolfo Sylvester Jr. and Rhonda Walcott, stepchildren Suzette Palmer Davies residing in the USA, and Jesse Palmer in Tortola, adopted child Marisa Palmer, one granddaughter, sisters and brother Sylvia, Jean, Vanetta, and Cuthbert. Aunt Liris Hunt, nieces and nephews including Milton, Sharon, Wendana, Neil, Claudius, Selwyn, Serana, Ngozi, Erlin, Franca, Indra, other nieces and nephews in Grenada, Canada, and Trinidad, sisters in law Barbara Sylvester and Keisha Noel Charles, other relatives, in laws, and friends including the Hunt and Sylvester families of Labry, St. Paul's, and surrounding areas. Wayne, Oliver and Barry Palmer in Tortola, Stephen Palmer in the USA, Michael, Richard, Ricky and Junior Palmer in the UK, Gloria Palmer and family of Boca, Jean Palmer and family of Fontenoy, Joe Palmer and family of Mount Parnassus, Peter Clark, Ben Gittens, Dr. Francis Alexis, George Martin and family, the management and staff of Soul Group, BVI and the Caribbean, Many other relatives, in-laws, grandchildren, adopted children, too numerous to mention, and friends and neighbors in Tortola, Canada, Grenada, Trinidad, Barbados, Anguilla, and throughout the Caribbean. The funeral service for the late Adolphus Sylvester, also known as Beck of Labory, who resided in Tortola, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's funeral home. Leantin Aberdeen of Moya St. Andrew, who resided in Canada, passed away on Saturday, 29th January 2022, at the age of 92. She was the mother of Gabriel and Japheth Samuel, Lessie, Ashley, Raymond, and Brenda Aberdeen, stepmother of Anne Lalji, grandmother of 25, including Delian Albert, Loxley Williams, Shanae Aberdeen, Stefflin, Aaliyah, Abigail, Ziggy, Lindonis Tansclaws, and Gillian Bola. Great-grandmother of 42. Great-great-grandmother of 6. Mother-in-law of Grethel Stephen. Aunt of many including Rudolph and Lennox Thorne, Teresa Joseph, Eulin Henry, Rayanne and Alistair Charles and Mycena. Cousin of Leroy and Lenuid Jones and Manita. Many other relatives and friends in Grenada, including Stephen Jones, Needley Charles, the Stevens and Evans families, Princess, Burness, Jocelyn, Benjamin, Toba, members of the Lapo Tree Seventh-day Adventist Church, 
and friends and neighbors of Pearls, Moya, and Paradise St. Andrew. The funeral service for the late Leantin Aberdeen of Moya St. Andrew, who resided in Canada, will take place in Canada. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Alban Chase, also known as Daddy Banu and Grandpa, of Beaulieu St. George, passed away on Friday, 28th January 2022, at the age of 93. He was the father of Patsy Crawford, Peter, Reverend Philip Chase, Cephas, Richard, Errol, Veronica and Johnson, both residing in Canada, David and Rebecca Chase John, both residing in the USA, brother of Alberta Charles and Michael Chase, both residing in Trinidad, grandfather of 23, great-grandfather of 20, great-great-grandfather of 4, brother-in-law of Mary Williams and Phyllis Chase, father-in-law of Earl Crawford, Cecilia, Sandra, Sally Ann and Melissa, many nieces and nephews, other relatives and friends including Rosalind and Jennifer Williams, Joanna Chase, the Simpson, Worrell and Chase families residing in Trinidad, the Daniel family of Vendham, the Labarry family of Bolio, the Chase family of Grandons, Victoria, Bylands and in Cariacou, the John and Frederick families of Bellevue and Monkrose, the Johnson family of Willis, the Patrick family of Grandmall, Reverend and Sister Aline, members of the Latter Rain Revival Pentecostal Church of Tempe, including Brother and Sister Murray, members of the Grenada Seamen and Waterfront Workers Union, members of the Grenada Ports Authority, Superintendent of Police Esau Pair of the Royal Grenada Police Force, Sergeant Anthony Pair of the Grenada Coast Guard, Dr. Roxanne Ned and family, the doctors and nurses of the Snug Corner Medical Station and the General Hospital, including Dr. Charles, Dr. Miguel and Dr. Noel, and friends and neighbors of Bolio, Willis and New Hampshire, including the Telesford, Mural and Philip families. The funeral service and interment of the late Alban Chase, also known as Daddy Banu and Grandpa, of Bolio St. George, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Anthony Leguerre of La Fortune, who resided at Cooper's Hill and H. A. Blair Street, St. George's, an employee of George F. Huggins and assistant jeweler at Leguerre's Jewelry, passed away on Monday, 17th January 2022, at the age of 61. Left to mourn are his children Anthony John, Dorian Thomas, also known as Domain, Sophia Skeet, Kevin Campbell, and Cameron Filbert. Brothers Livingston Laguerre, Matthew Barry, and Donald Mitchell in the USA, Winston Mitchell and Eris Mitchell. Aunt Irene Charles in the USA. Grandchildren Jared and Ethan Skeet, Deanna and Twine, Anton Lawrence, and Caden Filbert. Sisters-in-law Camille Francis, Denise Mitchell, and Emma Barry. Many nieces and nephews, including Anthony, Antonio, Evelyn, Rosalyn, Donalyn and Charlene Barry, Kendon Clement, Toria George, Cordell and Camero Francis, Annon, Andon, Donna and Marsha Mitchell, and Denon Lessie. Other relatives and friends including Jason Lessie, Kanisha Rennie, Donalyn Francis, the Laguerre families of St. Andrew and St. David, the Charles and Beggs families in the USA, the Robertson, Brown, Scott, and Andrews families of Satez, the Skeet family of Cooper's Hill in Canada, Trinidad, and the USA, the management and staff of George F. Huggins, staff of the Oncology Ward at the General Hospital, the Guys by Roaches Bar in the Market Square, and Lynette's Bar at Lucas Street, and neighbors of Cooper's Hill, Echeble Street, the Caronage, the Villa, and surrounding areas. The funeral service and interment of the late Anthony Laguerre of La Fortune, who resided at Cooper's Hill and at H. A. Blair Street, St. George's, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Peter John Joseph, also known as Spirit of Belmont Cariacou, who resided in the USA, passed away on Saturday, 15th January 2022, at the age of 56. He was the son of Evina Waldron in Tobago and Alban Lambert in the United Kingdom. 
husband of Loretta Joseph, father of Akani, John Jr. and Christopher, brother of Agnes Joseph, also known as Dinden, Nadine, Joan, Prudence, Erlen, Keone, Samantha, Wien, Kevin, Roger, Alan and Ashton, brother-in-law of three, son-in-law of Frank and Rose, uncle of many, nephew of Germaine Joseph in the USA, close cousin of many including Janice Joseph, Nimrod John, Ken Alexander and Mr. B. Many other relatives and friends including the Joseph, Lambert, John and Kajo families in Kariaku, England, Trinidad and the USA. The funeral of the late Peter John Joseph, also known as Spirit, of Belmont Kariaku, who resided in the USA, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Homes. Emery Anthony Frederick, also known as Brigo, of Grand Bacalet, who resided at Café Crochu St. Andrew, passed away on Friday, 4th February 2022, at the age of 91. He was the father of Annette Mayo, grandfather of Grace Jordan, Kelly Caliste, Molly Caliste and their families, uncle of Jocelyn Robertson, Venita Braffitt, Venice Peters, Vera Peters and their families, and the Lalsey family of Grand Bacalet, stepfather of Agnes James and Denise George, stepfather-in-law of Catherine Alexander, step-grandfather of Merrill Telesford, Beverly Pursue, Marcel, Chanel, Ellen, Ishmael, Kent, and Antonia. Many other relatives and friends, including the Panchu family of Tivoli and Mirabeau, the Mason family, Leon Bola, and friends and neighbors of Café, Kroshu, Grand Bacalet, Kuma, and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Emery Anthony Frederick, also known as Brigo, of Grand Bacalet, who resided at Café Kroshu St. Andrew, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Homes. Cecil Harris, also known as Haru, of Monk Moritz St. George, a World War II veteran, passed away on Friday 11 February 2022, at the age of 95. He was the father of Carl Harris, Ada Harris, Lydia Harris, MBE, and Vivian Harris, grandfather of 18, great-grandfather of 24, great-great-grandfather of two, father-in-law of Angelina Harris and Nicholas Harris, brother of George, Freddie and Louisa Harris, brother-in-law of Lemuel and Orford Edwards and Urban Nichols, several nieces and nephews, other relatives and friends, including the Edwards, Harris and Dowden families of Monk Moritz, the president, Mrs. Lauren E. Gray, Belayef, MBE, and members of the Grenada Legion of the Royal Commonwealth Ex-Servicemen League, Dr. Jude Antwine, Yuland Lawrence and family of Trinidad, Glenda Seals, Alan Medford and members of the Monk Moritz Seventh-day Adventist Church, and friends and neighbors of Monk Moritz. The funeral of the late Cecil Harris, also known as Harrow, of Monk Moritz St. George, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Anthony Felix, also known as Tony, of Harford Village St. Andrew, past teacher of St. Mary's R.C., retired principal of Tivoli R.C., extraordinary minister of the Eucharist, cursor and founding member of the Grenville Cooperative Credit Union, passed away on Thursday, 13th January 2022, at the age of 71. He was the husband of Agnes Felix, father of Randy in England, Leron in Texas, and Rodon in Grenada, grandfather of Shamar, Lamari, and Cadence, brother of Joyce Lynn Pear, Margaret James in Grenada, Dr. Edwin Felix in Texas, Maria Felix Julian, Yvette Felix, Agnes Sturdivan, and Sarah Felix Turler in Canada, father-in-law of Nadia Noel, Mariev, and Nisha Marast, uncle of many including Coffee, Dylan, Shakira, Rosie, Nixon, Melissa and Samantha, grand and great-grandfather of many, brother-in-law of Bernard Shaka James, Victor Pear, Jude Manwaring, Stephen, Rudy, and Silla Felix and Rita Marast, 
Many other relatives and friends, including Daphne Benjamin, Father Leroy Hopkin, Dr. Erlene Thomas, Roald Courtney, Glennis Hall, Weston Aline, Joseph Noel, the Benjamin, Peters, Felix, and Gill families, and friends and neighbors of Harford's Village and surrounding areas. The funeral service for the late Anthony Felix, also known as Tony, of Harford Village St. Andrew, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Teresa Cynthia Andrews, also known as Cynthia Andrews, or Miss Cynthia, of Thebaid St. David, passed away on Tuesday, 8th February, 2022, at the age of 88. Left to mourn are her children Diane, Derek, Carol, and Denzel. Siblings Lester James, Mary James Peterson in the USA, and Anne O'Gilvy. Mother-in-law of Wallace, Magna, and Delia. Sister-in-law of Daphne and Eugene. Brothers-in-law Lennox and Walter. Grandmother of 17. Great-grandmother of 16. Aunt of many. Many other relatives and friends, including Rita Thomas and family, Doreen and Francis Bain, Eliza Murray and family, Anne Noel and family, Jacinta Rubin and family, the James family of Monk Annan, the Andrews family, the Rayburn and Ferguson families of Sans Souci, the Purcell family in New York, the Lett family, Sheila Telesford and family, the George, Francis and Livingston families of Thebaid, and neighbors and friends of Thebaid, St. David, and surrounding areas. The funeral service and interment of the late Teresa Cynthia Andrews, also known as Cynthia Andrews or Miss Cynthia of Thebaid St. David, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's funeral home. Jervis Stedman Julian, also known as Papa Yo and Blacks of Woodford St. John, former employee of the General Hospital, passed away on Tuesday, 1st February, 2022, at the age of 63. He was the father of Gracelyn, grandfather of Joshua, Jonathan, and Jordan in Trinidad, brother of Kenny, James, Sean, Randy, Lynette, Grieslin, Joylin, and Sandra, nephew of Carmen, uncle of Vonnie, DeVore, Kevin, Rakisha, Sherwin, Kieron, Dwight, Zena, Kadisha, Aliyah, Elisha, Akira, Shakira, and Kadim, brother in law of Fitzroy, Kathian, and Loretta, many other relatives and friends, including Phyllis, Sylvia, Marva, Anne Marie, Stephanie, Miller, Ralph, Lucita, Julia, Edrica, Garvin, Annie Purcell, Inez Welch, Keith Haynes, the Julian, Philip, Lewis, Thomas, Joseph, and Wellington families, the grounds and housekeeping staff of the General Hospital, and friends and neighbors of Woodford and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Jervis Stedman Julian, also known as Papa Yo and Blacks of Woodford St. John, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Dennis Thomas, also known as Tomo, of Blackbee St. John, passed away on Monday, 14th February, 2022, at the age of 74. The funeral arrangements for the late Dennis Thomas, also known as Tomo, of Blackbee St. John, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Nelsia Vincent of Richmond, Grambra, and Felix Park Cottage, Croshu St. Andrew, passed away on Monday, 14th February, at the age of 87. The funeral of the late Nelsia Vincent of Richmond, Grambra, and Felix Park Cottage, Croshu St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Lockwood Brothers Funeral Home. Anthony McQueen, also known as Drix of La Fortune St. Patrick, passed away on Tuesday, 1st February, at the age of 85. The funeral of the late Anthony McQueen, also known as Drix of La Fortune St. Patrick, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Lockwa Brothers Funeral Home. Ursula Antoine Nee Sandy of Happy Hill St. George, 
member of the most excellent order of the British Empire, former principal of the St. George's Anglican Senior School, also known as Heinze, and pastor emerita of the St. George's Bible Holiness Church. She transitioned to glory on Wednesday, February 9, 2022, at the age of 75. The funeral arrangements of the late Ursula Antoine, MBE of Happy Hill St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Bailey's funeral home. Thomas Newton, also known as Lack of Last Suggesting David, passed away on Monday, 14th February, at the age of 79. The funeral of the late Thomas Newton, also known as Lack of Last Suggesting David, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Lockwa Brothers Funeral Home. Edward Williams, also known as App and Quash, of St. Paul's St. George, passed away on Sunday, 13th February 2022, at the age of 80. The funeral arrangements for the late Edward Williams, also known as App and Quash, of St. Paul's St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Glenda Catherine Samuel Church of Loretto Grove St. John, an employee of the Supreme Court Registry, died on Tuesday, 1st February 2022, at the age of 53. The funeral arrangements for the late Glenda Catherine Samuel Church of Loretto Grove St. John will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Delbert Bowler of Duquesne St. Mark passed away on Friday, 4th February 2022 at the age of 84. The funeral arrangements for the late Delbert Bowler of Duquesne St. Mark will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Cecilia Roberts Thomas, also known as Mother James and Miss Cecile, of Boca St. George, who resided at Beaulieu and in the USA, transitioned in the USA on Wednesday, February 2, 2022, at the age of 101. The funeral arrangements for the late Cecilia Roberts Thomas, also known as Mother James and Miss Cecile of Boca St. George, who resided at Bolio and in the USA, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Annie Joyce Duncan of Old Wester Hall St. George passed away on Tuesday, 8th February 2022 at the age of 88. The funeral arrangements for the late Annie Joyce Duncan of Old Wester Hall St. George will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Rupert Anthony Stafford passed away on Saturday, 22nd January 2022 in New York at the age of 69. The funeral arrangements for the late Rupert Anthony Stafford will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Godfrey A.B. Alexander, also known as Natty, of Tempe St. George, a resident of Spice Residential Care, passed away on Sunday, January 30th, 2022, at the age of 69. The funeral arrangements for the late Godfrey A.B. Alexander, also known as Natty, of Tempe St. George, a resident of Spice Residential Care, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Curlin Bishop, also known as Bish, of the Bocas St. George, passed away on Thursday, 27th January 2022, at the age of 63. The funeral arrangements for the late Curlin Bishop, also known as Bish, of the Bocas St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Maclena Veronica George Nee Richards of Guav St. John, who resided at Bonnet St. Mark, passed away on Saturday, 29th January, at the age of 72. The funeral of the late Maclena Veronica George Nee Richards of Guav St. John, who resided at Bonnet St. Mark, 
will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. Lyndon Dikoto, also known as Trouble, Kawo and Compare, of Middle River, Gwolf St. John, passed away on Thursday, January 20th, 2022, at the age of 55. The funeral arrangements for the late Lyndon Dikoto, also known as Trouble, Kawo and Compare, of Middle River, Gwolf St. John, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Homes. The management and staff of MTV extend deepest condolences to those of you whose loved ones have passed on. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Bishop Daniel Moore, the Bishop of Jerusalem Spiritual Baptist Church. Jesus is quoting that if you believe in him, you shall live again. Those of you who have lost your loved ones, my special sympathy to you. God was declared as Jesus spoke to Martha and Mary in the 11th chapter of St. John quote from the 23rd verse Jesus said unto her thy brother shall rise again you go further down into the 25th verse stating that Jesus said unto her I am the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me though he were dead yet shall he live those of you who lost your loved ones you can put your trust in Jesus Christ can you tell us in St. John 14 chapter let not your heart be troubled he believe in God believe also in me so death is not the end of your loved ones and remember there is a time coming when God will raise the dead back to life as he did to Lazarus that same time when he raised him from the grave and I want to tell you today put your trust in Jesus Christ one day you're going to see your loved one that is not the end of anyone. As you view this program here today, you can put your trust in Jesus Christ. Can the Bible tell us, Seek ye first his kingdom, and everything else shall be added. And I want you to put your trust in Jesus Christ, because with him all things are possible. And the Lord Jesus Christ said in his word that he's coming back again to receive all those unto him. So if you put your trust in the Lord, all things are possible. So my sympathy to you all, I know you'll cry because you have lost someone. But we know that if someone dies, you'll have pain, you'll have sorrow. But your grief, I know that the Lord, one day the Lord will give you peace in your life. Just put your trust in Him and He will give you peace in your life. Just say a short word of prayer with you right now. Say, Lord Jesus, at this time, will you comfort me at this time? I'm in sorrow. My heart is in pain. I have lost someone. Will you comfort me? Say, Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me. Strengthen me. Give me your grace. In this time of trials and transition, to be able to persevere and to be able to hold and to stand up. In this time of trials and transition, all this blessing acts in Jesus' name. Amen. And to you, I lost your loved one. I pray that God will give you speed recovery and give you the ability to continue to trust him because we know death is not the end of your loved one. She or he shall rise again. So just trust him and may God bless you with his few words.